Hi, my name is Lori Listerman, and today, along with the help of my son, Jonathan, we are going to talk about three tools that can be used in the classroom to help with students with disabilities or special needs. So, uh, let me introduce you to my son, Jonathan. He is 23 years of age, and he was diagnosed with autism when he was four years of age. And so he is going to share some of the tools that we used with him as he was growing up. Take it away, Jonathan. Okay. When I was little, my speech therapist set up for me to use the PEX system. PEX system. PEX system. Thanks. I used it at school and at home. It helped me to communicate more. Thank you very much. The PEX system is a great tool that we can use with um, students, especially with those with autism. It was something that worked tremendously with our son, and I have seen it in work in classrooms today, even in the classroom that I work in. Um, a lot of our students are visual learners. I'm a visual learner. And so, therefore, when they see the pictures, they're able to... Um, know exactly what we are asking them to do, whether it's um, um, raising their hand or um, getting out materials. Um, for students who have a hard time communicating or are nonverbal, the PEC system is a great way um, for students to communicate with us um, what they need um, and what they desire. So. I highly recommend the PEC system. In fact, when our son was growing up, we had those pictures all over our house because he was nonverbal and we needed a way for him to communicate with us. And um, that is something that I see at schools. I see pictures um, that can be in the restroom, that can be in the cafeteria. We need to find ways to have our students um, learn to communicate with us and to understand um, the words associated with the pictures. So another tool that uh, Jonathan is going to be talking about is um, as simple as the computer. Okay. I got a job at Cargill after I graduated my college. I struggled at first because I did not know my schedule to do my jobs. So my parents made a schedule on the computer and printed it out for me to take to work. So I knew what jobs to do at certain times. Thank you, Jonathan. Um, for students, the, we can use computers in so many different ways. Um, one of the examples that Jonathan gave was he struggled with uh, knowing when to do his jobs um, throughout his scheduled time at his employment. So using the computer, we sat and we typed with Jonathan and uh, came up with a schedule of when he should do his jobs at certain times throughout the day. For example, 9 to 9.30, Jonathan, you will sweep the floors in the kitchen area. Um, this can also be done at school. Um, there's many ways that we can use the computer to help our students um, to communicate, to understand, um, along with another tool that we can use um, is the iPad. Sometimes computers and iPads can go together, but um, iPads um, is used in our schools now, um, especially with the younger students, um, but we're fortunate enough that our students get to use iPads in their in the classroom today. They are able to get on and um, go over um, a certain story that we're reading um, they can see um, different um, list of reasons why um, certain, what am I trying to say, certain words are the way they are in tests, te in the text, um, such as nouns, um, verbs, things like that. Um, they can get on different websites um, and work with us as teachers. Um, to go over uh, 
to see what they have learned and if they're understanding and comprehending. So a lot of the students like um, the smaller iPads compared to the big computers, but each one of them, whether it's a computer or an iPad, is a tool that can be used with students in the classroom and can be used at home also. Um, some of the students with disabilities um, would really like the iPad because it's smaller, it's something that they can hold and um, make it their own um, while they're in the classroom, take the responsibility. Um, it's, um, you know, very, uh, students like technology. And so therefore we need to make sure that we're uh, using technology in the things that we're teaching them. So anyways, thank you very much.